A'udhu billahi minash shaitan nirajim Bismillahir Rahman Nirahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar Rahman Nirahim Maliki Yomidin Iyakana Abudu wa Iyakana Stain Edina Sirat al Mustakim Sirat al An Amta Alehim Rayro Maktu bi Alehim Walla Dolin Amin Assalamu alaikum Beloved brothers and sisters, greetings of peace from gardens of Al Modavar. And I bring you the blessings of our Tariqa Mustafawiya. My name is Sheikh Maryam Fai Al Fakira. This wonderful path has been placed in my hand and heart by my beloved Sheikh Harun Fai. Al Fakir, placed in his hand by his Sheikh Mustafa Gai Haidar, placed in his hand by the blessed Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. O Allah, to you all praise. We praise him and ask him for help and we ask him for protection and we seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the mischief of our souls and the evil of our deeds. Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, there is no one who can lead him astray and whoever Allah finds in error, there is none to guide him. O oh Allah, help those who help the religion of Islam, and count us among them. Ameen. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the servant and messenger of Allah, the unlettered prophet, and his family and companions until the day of judgment. Ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen. A'udhu billahi mina shaitan nir rajim Bismillahir Rahman nir rahim Ar Rahman Allam al Quran Halakal insan Allam al bayan a shamsu wal kamarubi husban, wa najmu wa shajru yasjudan, wa sama rafa aha wa wadal mizan, ala tarao fil mizan, walakimul wasna bil kisti. Walla tuxirul mizan. <coughs> Bismillahir Rahman, Nirahim, the Merciful. It is He who has taught the Quran. He created insan. He taught him speech and intelligence. The sun and the moon follow courses exactly computed and the herbs and the trees both bow in adoration. And the firmament has he raised high, and he has set the balance of justice in order that you might not transgress due balance. So establish, wait with justice, and fall not short in the balance. Kuluman 
alayha fan wa yabka wa chu rabika dhu jalali wal ikram fabi ayi alai rabikuma tu kadiban yasaluhu man fi samawati wal ard kula yawmin huwa fi shan fabi ayi alai rabikuma tu kadiban all that is on earth will perish, but will abide forever the face of your Lord, full of majesty, bounty, and honor. Then which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? Of him seeks its need every creature in the heavens and on earth, every day in new splendor doth he shine. Then which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? Tabarakas murabika dhul jalali wal ikram Blessed be the name of thy Lord, full of majesty, bounty, and honor. Beloved brothers and sisters, in this beautiful surah, named the merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals to us how his mercy is made manifest in the balance of the cosmos the balance of nature the sun and the moon the herbs and trees which bow down the firmament raised high all are manifestations of Allah's merciful just and balanced rule. All this and the speech and intelligence in humankind to proclaim and comprehend Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to mankind as manifestations of his mercy. And the first of the merciful gifts given is that which contains all the mercy Allam al-Qur'an It is he who has taught the Qur'an The Holy Qur'an In which every surah except one Begins with Bismillahirrahmanirrahim In the name of Allah The Merciful The Compassionate Thus Allah prioritizes These of his attributes Because this is clearly the way in which he asks us to most often remember him. In light of the emphasis given by him to these of his qualities, how can we then, who intend to serve and worship the one most merciful, manifest in his name other than mercy, compassion, kindness, and love, albeit love that is united with justice, and kindness founded upon knowledge, justice, and rectitude. We must deeply question then, who are they serving who terrorize and kill, oppress themselves and others, so to speak, in the name of Allah? That people, whoever they may be, are committing such acts in the name of Islam is a sign of how far the creation has strayed away from the balance. The justice, the fitra, natural state ordained by the merciful. Every day on the news we see a manifestation of this distortion and denial of the divine inspired reality, the haq. The condition of humanity today is a deeply complex distortion because justice, harmony, and balance all seem to be strained and compromised by various conditions prevailing in the world. But this apparent imbalance, stress, and distress 
is a call to all of us as Muslims, all those believing in and surrendering to the Lord Most Merciful, to return to the balance created by our Lord and manifest the mercy and compassion that He has intended for us, just as He ordained it for Himself. So when, having revealed to us in this surah, the bounty of the realms that He created for us in which to come to know, worship, and serve Him, pro proclaiming His praise, He asks us, and which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? One of the favors that unless we have totally lost or disconnected ourselves from the divine balance, we cannot deny is the gift of his mercy, our Rahman. And if we are existing in a state of harmony with the flow of his mercy, then we will not deny any of the favors that he is bestowing upon us in the plenitude of his love. Throughout the Quran, as in the Ahadith, he makes clear in so many ways the preeminent importance of the quality of mercy. In Surah Al-An'am, he says of himself, Allah ordained upon himself mercy. Kuliman ma fi samawati wal ard kulillahi kataba ala nafsihi rahma la yajma annakum illa yawmil kiyamati la ghayba fihi alladhina kasiru anfusahum Fahum la yu'minun. Sadaqallahul Azim. Say, to whom do the earth and heaven belong? Say, to Allah, who has decreed upon himself mercy. He will assuredly gather you all together on a day about which there is no doubt. Yet those who cheat themselves will not believe. And Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, I heard the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say, When Allah created the creatures, he wrote in the book, which is over his throne, Verily, my mercy prevails over my wrath al Bukhari and Muslim. In this, we have the clear guidance that following the path of His mercy takes precedence over all. And it is in obedience to the path of His mercy that we will be saved from anger, from His anger or wrath. This as opposed to any form of terrorism, compulsion, or oppression is what we as Muslims need to learn and teach. In another narration, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah created 100 units of mercy on the day He created the heavens and the earth. Each one of them can contain all that is between heaven and earth. Of them He put one on earth through which a mother has compassion for her children, and animals and birds have compassion for one another. On the day of resurrection, he will perfect and complete his mercy. That is, he will use all hundred units of mercy for his slaves on that day, Bukhari and Muslim. Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, let us contemplate what this might mean, understanding the powerful significance on that day of His mercy, which undoubtedly we will all greatly need. Further, we are told of the manifestation of Allah's mercy on that day 
Ibn Umar reported, I heard the Messenger of Allah saying, a believer will be brought close to his Lord on the day of resurrection and enveloping him in his mercy. Allah will make him confess his sins by saying, do you remember doing this sin and this sin? He will reply, my Lord, I remember. I remember doing this sin and this sin. Then he will say, I covered it up for you in the life of this world and I forgive it for you today. Then the record of his good deeds will be handed to him. Bukhari and Muslim. Also it was reported by Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if anyone constantly seeks forgiveness from Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will appoint for him a way out of every distress, provide him relief from every anxiety, and will provide sustenance for him from places he did not expect it. Let us contemplate the boundless mercy and forgiveness of our Lord who promises to forgive us, to envelop us in His mercy if only we sincerely supplicate Him and trust in Him, the answerer of our prayers. So it is very clear that we must ask for forgiveness and mercy all the time, unceasingly. But also we must give it. Neither can we give mercy if we have not received it, nor continue to consciously receive this endless blessing if we do not transmit it to others. All that we receive as bounty and beauty, kindness and forgiveness from our Lord must be shared. According to another hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, be merciful to people on earth, and Allah Most High will be merciful to you. Beloved brothers and sisters, regarding the dispensation of mercy, we do not have the right to assess or judge another person's intention or action. Let us come to know our own hearts and become conscious of the degree to which they are instruments for the flow of divine mercy. In this way, the instability that we may perceive in the world as it quakes through so many crises may be stabilized within our own submission to the one of infinite mercy and peace. And in this way, the condition of the world will change person by person as the well-known quote tells us, let there be peace on earth, let it begin with us. Realizing how profoundly important it is for us to receive Allah's mercy, let us deeply consider some of the various wonderful ways in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself has told us that we may receive mercy. What you Allah wa Rasula la Allakum Turhamun and obey Allah and His Messenger so that you all may receive mercy. May we obey Allah and His Messenger that we may receive the mercy of Allah that comes through the Rahmah that He sent to us as His Messenger. That is the name of this speech, which is called the Rahma bestowed by the Rahman. Wahada kitabun anzalnahu mubarakun fatabiyuhu wataku la allakum turhamun. Six one fifty five. And this is a book we have sent it down as one blessed. So follow it and fear Allah 
so that you may all receive mercy, all of us. It is a book for all of us, Rachma for all the worlds. Let us receive it and then give it. Let us receive this infinite blessing and let it pass through us like the breath that, that sustains us. May it sustain everyone we meet. May that mercy and light of allow through which we were brought into existence become the breath that we breathe the breath that sustains us and everyone that we meet. وَإِذَا كُرِيَ الْقُرَانُ فَاسْتَمِيُوا لَهُ وَأَنْسِتُوا لَأَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ These are the ways in which Allah tells us that we may be amongst those who are continuously receiving His mercy. And when the Quran is recited, listen to it with attention so that you may receive mercy. The Holy Quran is nothing but mercy. Let us receive that from the one who is continuously descending upon us, his love and his grace. Similarly, Allah says, and my mercy encompasses all things. So soon I will write it for those who have taqwa. May we be amongst the mutakin. O oh, beloved friends on the journey, may we be those in a state of awareness of this infinite grace, the infinite grace of the one who created us to know him, to love and serve him, who created us out of his love. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Waktuba lana fi hadihi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati. إنا هدنا إليك قال أذب أسيب به من أسها ورحمتي وسيات كل شيء فسك تبوها للذين يتكون ويوتون الزكاة وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِآيَاتِنَا يُؤْمِنُونَ And write for us in this world that which is good, and also in the final world. Surely we have turned to you in repentance. Allah said, I strike with my punishment whom I will, and my mercy encompasses all things. So I prescribe it for those who guard themselves for me and who give the zakah and who believe in our signs. And let us behold the signs of Allah in the horizons and within ourselves so that we may become those who surrender to the one who sent us all of this plenitude. Indeed, the mercy of Allah is near to those who do good. And again, show mercy so that you may be shown mercy. Forgive and Allah will forgive you. Abu Shurai al khuzai reported the, that the Prophet wasalam, said, He who believes in Allah and the last day, let him be kind to his neighbor and he who believes in Allah and the last, last day, let him show hospitality to his guest. And he who believes in Allah and the last day, let him either speak good or remain silent. Then who amongst mankind was a more perfect example of one that asked for and gave mercy than the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alayhi wasalam, the one designated by the merciful as Rahmah for all the worlds. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa ma arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil alamin. For in Surat al Anbiya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We sent thee not, but as a mercy for all creatures, for all the worlds. Surat al-Anbiya 107. And in Al-Hadid, 
he tells us, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu taqullah wa amanu bi rasulihi yutikum kiflaini mir rahmatihi wa yajallakum nuran tam shuna bihi wa yaghfir lakum wa lahu Ghafurun Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. O you who believe, fear Allah and believe in His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and He will give you a double portion of His mercy, and He will give you a light by which you shall walk straight, and He will forgive you. And Allah is off forgiving most merciful al hadid 57:28 and he says to the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in surah ali imran bismillahir rahmanir rahim fa bima rahmatin min allahi linta lahum wa law kunta fadlan Khalida al kalbilan fadu min haulika fafu anhum wa stagfir lahum wa shawir hum fil amri fa ida azamta fatawakkal allahi in allah yuhibu mutawakilun and by the mercy of allah you dealt gently with them and had you been severe and harsh-hearted they would have broken away from you so pass over their faults and ask Allah's forgiveness for them and consult them in the affairs Ali Imran 3 159 beloved friends brothers and sisters this in truth is the way in which Islam originally spread and it is the way in which it will continue to contagiously spread and grow heart to heart loving kindness to kindness in the supermarket in the neighborhood in schools hospitals prisons in business encounters in assemblies like this in gatherings for the sake of Allah and the spread of knowledge and understanding in nature created by the one most merciful and in this beautiful land of al Modavar, in which the tree every tree planted was planted with prayers and love that they may grow abundantly and Welcome all to celebrate the wonderful signs of Allah. And we remember the one who planted the trees and by whom he was guided to plant the trees, our beloved Sheikh Mansur, Rahmatale, may we be together with him and all the faithful, all the awliya in the garden of paradise. And we welcome everyone who is watching this video to make the intention with us that we may join together in that blessed abode forever. In all, in every, pl every place we are guided to go, wherever we find ourselves, beloved friends, let us realize that our job never ceases, our, our wonderful work never ceases, just as every single tree was planted with love, so every heart must be embraced with love. Everyone you meet, wherever you may be, realize that love awakens love. Knowledge awakens knowledge. Kindness begets kindness. And forgiveness in this world brings forth forgiveness from the one most forgiving and merciful in eternity. Therefore, we may, may we forgive and be forgiven. May we love and be loved. May we give mercy and receive 
that mercy which Allah wills to descend upon us. And He created us for this. It is only when we deny this gift that we are left uh, to go astray. Let us not forget the gift that is being given this very moment and let us make sure that we share it. We can never keep it for ourselves. Every seed that is planted in the ground, every seed of light planted in the heart will grow and the wind will carry it to other lands. We have seen in the example of our beloved Sheikh, Sheikh Harun al-Fai al-Fakir, how he brought the plenitude of knowledge from the sacred land of Senegal and the wind of grace is carrying it all around the world and planting it in hearts like yours and mine so that the, the wonderful life of the true holy blessing of the Quran will spread across the earth heart to heart, garden to garden. And in all of this we follow nothing but the example of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and in all that we do and all that we have come to understand in all that we pray in all the knowledge that every drop of knowledge given to us by which we are guided straight on the way that leads directly to the Creator most merciful of all we have one perfect guide one beloved guide and in Surat al Tauba, Allah says of the perfect example of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his blessed community the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would feel seriously hurt by whatever was harmful to his nation he was never given an option to choose between two things except that he chose the easier, the more merciful, as long as it was not forbidden. On many occasions he had said, had I not found it hard for my followers or the people, I would have ordered so and so or I would have done so and so. Sometimes he would want to prolong the prayer and yet would shorten it when he heard the crying of a baby because he understood how upset the mother would be. An instance of his compassion was that he called upon his Lord and made a compact with him, saying, If ever I curse a man or make invocation against him, make it zakah, or charity for him, and mercy, prayer, purification, and an act of drawing near by which he will draw near to you on the day of rising. Beloved friends, Fisa Bilallah, can we do this? Do we have the ability in the depth of our heart to make this kind of shift to, as the Holy Quran tells us, repel evil with what is better? Can we learn in the midst of our daily challenges and interactions to pray for the higher good, no matter what seems to be happening? to us and around us as the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. When his people rejected him, Jibreel Alaihi Salam came to him and said, Allah has heard what your people say to you and how they reject you. He has ordered the angels on the mountains to obey whatever you tell them to do. The angels of the mountains called him, greeted him and said, send us to do what you wish. If you wish, we will crush them between the two mountains of Mecca. The Holy Prophet وسلم, said, Rather, I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring forth from their loins those who will worship Allah alone and not associate anything with Him. Muslim and Al-Bukhari and the six, six books. The Prophet وسلم, also said about mercy, you see the believers as regards to their being merciful among themselves and showing love among themselves and being kind, resembling one body so that if any part of the body is not well, then the whole body shares sleeplessness. 
and fever with it. Abdullah ibn Jafar narrated that the Messenger of Allah entered the compound of an Ansari man and there was a camel there. When the camel saw the Holy Prophet, it longed for him, groaned and shed tears. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam approached it and wiped off its tears until it became quiet and peaceful. He then said, who is the owner of this camel? A young Ansari man came and said, It is me, O Messenger of Allah. The Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then said, Will you not fear Allah as regards this animal, which Allah put under your possession? It complained to me that you starve it and overburden it. Abu Dawood. This is the Prophet's reaction to the maltreatment of an animal. Imagine how he would have reacted to a person who harmed humans, usurped the rights of the poor, and did not treat children and old people with compassion. When Aisha radiallahu anha was asked by a companion about the Prophet's daily conduct, she replied that the conduct of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the Qur'an, which is the guidance from Allah and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was given authority by Allah to interpret it and manifest it. This is why his conduct is exemplary of human conduct and remains so until this day. You have indeed in the Messenger of Allah an excellent exemplar for anyone whose hope is in Allah and the final day and who engages much in the glorification of the Divine, Holy Quran 3321. And never give up hope of Allah's soothing mercy. Truly, no one despairs of Allah's soothing mercy except those who have no faith. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahman Nir Rahim Malik Yomadin Yakana Abudu Wa Yakana Stain Edina Siratal Mustakim Siratal Adina Anamta Alehim Rairil Makdubi Alehim Waladalin Amin. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wal Asr in al in Sanalafi Husr. Illa Ladina Amanu wa Amilu Salihati. Wata was so bil haki. Wata was so bisabur. Ahmeduna Mahmuduna. Nabiuna tabibuna, Muritona shafiuna, Sham so huda fill alami, Ya shafian fill uzama, Betululumil ulama, Wahua rasulu hukama min nuri hill. Mu alami, Ahmeduna, Mahmuduna, Nabiuna, Tabibuna, Murituna, Shafiuna, Sham so huda fill alami. Allahumma salila, Sayyidina Muhammad, Asabi kul alawami, Anwaruhu nila samawati. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sabihi Adadan rimali wa adadan nujuma sama Subhana rabika rabil azati amaya sifun Wa salamun alal mursaleen Walhamdulillahi rabil alameen